Okay, in this video, we are going to do level two of the pegboard toy. I'm going to go quick. Um, you should have had this done where the square and the circle pegs are constrained to the pegboard. That is completion of level one. Level two, you need to follow the instructions that were given to you, but also you can use me as a reference or this video as a reference. So we're done here. The first instruction says to open up the pegboard toy. I've already opened it. This is the pegboard toy assembly right here. All right. Second says it, we're going to create ends on the end of the pegboard. We're going to create ends on both sides of this pegboard. So first instruction say create. We're going to name it end. I'm going to name mine end with a little dash because I've already named a couple that way. Say OK. And it says it already exists. I'm going to say yes. We're going to override it. The next instructions tell us to click on the front of the pegboard. Okay, this is the top of the pegboard. This is the side of the pegboard. This here is the front. Yours might be in a completely different um, uh, placement, but this right here is the front. You want to click on this. All right, so I've clicked on it, and it tells us in the instructions that it grays out. Everything is grayed out. I can't click on anything. But now I need to right click in the graphics window. That's this. Right click, and then do a new sketch. And it's asking me, where do I want to put the sketch? I want to put the sketch on the front of the pegboard. So this is the front. Again, this is the front of the pegboard. Don't click on any of these. Click on the front of the pegboard right there. Next step, project geometry. All this is doing is bringing out the edges of the front of the pegboard so that we can see them. Now you should have two yellow boxes right there. At this point, now we're just going to make the ends. And it gives you the dimensions and the instructions. I'll show them to you here as well. So I'm going to make a rectangle about where I want it to be uh, on the end. So I'm just going to do a rough, rough rectangle and then dimension everything. So I click dimension, click on the height of this, and according to the instructions, it should be 4 inches. The width of this, according to the instructions, should be 3 quarters inches. There it is. All right. Now... Also, we want this pegboard, the front of the pegboard, to go into the end of that by 0.37 inches. So I'm dimension again. I want to zoom up on this from here to there. This should be 0.375 away from each other. So now notice my end goes into the pegboard 0.375 inches. Zooming back out and I told you earlier that the dimensions from the top of the pegboard to the very bottom of the end should be three inches. So I made that three. We are now done with the sketch here. So I'm going to finish the sketch and it tells us to extrude that rectangle uh, to the distance of the pegboard. Notice the directions, the direction of that extrusion. We don't want it to go that way. We actually want it to go the other way and we want it to go three inches. So I need to type it in right up here, three inches and click enter. All right. So now we are done with that one side. So I'm going to return and this is what it looks like. And now I have to save uh, this pegboard before that end will save. So click the save button and it says, hey, do you want to save changes to the pegboard toy and its dependence? And you say, yes, okay. Now, the instructions to tell us, tell us to place the other end in. So we're going to click place and we just made that end with a little dash. I'm going to, uh, we made that, so now I'm going to open it and place it in there. And there it is. And now I can right click and escape. There's my end. Now notice that there are two work planes, these, these uh, sh shaded rectangles here. We can get rid of those. All you have to do is go over here to the browser um, and click that plus sign next to end one. Right click on work plane and say visibility. And, uh, and then the same thing here. Click the plus sign. Uh, here's the work plane. Right click on work plane and click on visibility and it goes away. Now we need to get this end on that pegboard correctly. All right. So now we're going to use our constraint again. So watch this. Pay close attention to this. This is the difficult part. So I'm going to click constrain. And from this, I'm going to click the top of the end 
and the top of the pegboard. Now notice it mated it, which means it turned it over and put it flat on the pegboard. We don't want that. All right, so I'm gonna click this guy right here, this flush, and it turned it back around. But now, notice that it doesn't look like this side. We need to actually get it to go up one inch. So if I type in one, notice it goes down. This went down. So what if it happens if I type in negative one? Then it goes up, and I'm going to say OK. So from the top of this to the top of the pegboard should be one inch. OK? But notice I can still move this around. So now I want to constrain the inside of this, so right here, we'll click on that, to the end of the pegboard. And now notice they're flat against it. Do we want it flat? So over here, remember it was 0.375 inches into the end. So if I type in 0.375, notice it moves the wrong direction. So I need to type in negative 0.375. And now it went into uh, the pegboard platform. So there it is. Now it's in. Now the only problem now is I can, I can move this around. So there it is. We can tell that it's in. So now I need to do one more constraint because I want it to be flush with this. So I'm going to click constrain, click the front of this, and click the front of this. And I want to click it to be flush. And click OK. And you have now finished level two. This is what it should look like. If I hover over the platform, it should be inset on both ends. And if I go to the front and pull these down, it should be, everything should be flushed down here on the bottom and everything should be flushed down here on the top of the platform. Let's save it. And now you are done with level two.